Bruce Mission as well, Teeny Church service. Uh, this is the video for Wednesday service. I hope you all enjoy the sermon. Today we will read Genesis chapter 27 from verse 24. Then he said, Are you really my son Esau? He said, I am. He said, Bring it, bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's game, so that my soul may bless you. So he brought it near to him, and he ate, and he brought, it, brought him wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smells of the clothing, and blessed him, and said, Surely the smells of my son is like the smells of the field which the Lord has blessed. Therefore may God give you of the dew of heaven, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you, and nations bow down to you. Be master over your brethren, and let your mother's son bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be those who bless you. Now it happened, as soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had secretly gone out from the presence of Isaac his father that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. Yes, I read today the story of uh, Jacob's blessing. Father Isaac blessed his second son, Jacob, instead of the first son, Esau. When you read this story, have you ever had a question mark in your mind? Or oh, why God blessed Jacob, who deceived and cheated his father, instead of the firstborn, Esau. And have you ever had a question that Rebecca, she was a very bad woman, a bad mother, but why Rebecca helped Jacob to receive blessing? These can be the question for our Christian who read Bible and uh, are not able to uh, find out the clear heart of God through reading the Bible. When we read this story, first of all, we have to uh, not only read the story or understand the Jacob and Esau's story through Genesis chapter 27, it alone. Whenever you read the Bible, there is a story which God wants to deliver us, deliver unto us. Then through reading the story, we have to meditate what will be the spiritual meaning God wanted to reveal unto us. So when you read the entire Bible, this Jacob and Esau story is not in this Genesis chapter 27 alone. Throughout the Bible, God has introduced Jacob and Esau's story for us to teach the spiritual meaning and the heart of God. Bible does not talk about too many different things. If you once understand the heart of God precisely, which means if you understand the core grain of the teachings of the Bible, you will be able to interpret and understand all the stories of the Bible and will be able to get the spiritual meaning out of that. So when you read this Jacob and Esther's story on Genesis 27, I hope you try to understand the story first. Afterwards, uh, you need to understand the spiritual meaning and which God, which lesson God really wanted to teach us through this story. So let's start to understand this story and try to interpret the spiritual meaning out of that. Last Sunday, I preached about the law and grace. There are always two ways for us to receive the blessing of God. The first law, or first way, was law. For us, keeping the commandment and his uh, statutes, it is impossible for us to obey and keep all of that for us to receive blessing. That is why God wanted to teach us the uh, story of Esa. If you are the Esa type of believer, you are not able to receive blessing, 
no matter how hard you try, end up, you will receive the curse from God. Bible always talk about two different type of people in the, uh, in the Bible. Although you go to church and give offering, giving tithe and pray hard, always we can be divided into two different types of uh, church goer or believer. Here, when you read Bible, Bible and God always gives us two different types of people through the story of Cain and Abel. As you understand, Cain, he brought an offering from the ground, but God rejected. Abel, he brought the first born of his flock, God accepted. And if you read the Jacob and his story, it's the same. Jacob, he received the blessing from his father. Esau, who he tried his best, received curse. And through the first uh, chief butler and chief baker's story in Genesis chapter 40, through Joseph's dreams interpretation, we can also understand the chief butler and chief baker. There were two different types of uh, believers. And Saul and David can be one of the examples of two different types of people. So here today, we have to understand who is as a type of believer. When we believe in God, we all go to church, we follow the church regulation teaching, and we try our best to obey to the word of God. But if you are the as a type of believer, after trying hard and trying to follow the, the will of God and trying to satisfy God's commandment, at the end, eventually, you are not able to receive blessing, but a curse. Let's first think about Esau's birth. When he was born, Genesis chapter 25, verse 25 says, He was born and his body was a hairy garment all over. That's why they named him Esau, which means red. And when he grew up, he was a very brave and courageous hunter. He had a condition to please his father uh, with his braveness and his courage. He was able to go out anytime to hunt the game so that if he catch an animal, he could bring uh, his father's savory food. So when we think about this as a he had a good condition to rely on him and trust on himself. So his ability, his power, his, his own condition was trustful. So through such things, through his own ability, through his own power, through his own condition, he was trying to satisfy father and he was able to please his father. So when you think about Esau, he was a capable person. He had all that power and energy. He had that condition to please his father. So Esau was a person who trusted his power not on the condition of, of something else. But as you know the story, the consequence of following his trust and trusting his own power, his strength. Although he obeyed the commandment of his father and went out to hunt the game and brought a savory food for his father. What was the result? What was the consequence of doing all these good works? Yes, he was end up cursed by his father Isaac. Why it had to happen? Why God has to show us that this Esau, who was very capable and who tried to follow the commandment of his father, had no choice but to be cursed? It is because God wanted to reveal his principles and his teachings unto us. When you think about the heart of God, 
God created Adam and Eve, which means our human, without having any wisdom, power, and beauty, unlike the angels. As you know, the angels and leaders, they were created in good image, beauty, and wisdom, and they have all that abilities. But since Lucifer, because of all these things which he received from Father God, uh, this Lucifer became corrupted because of self proud of himself, thinking that I am capable, I can do something without God, and wanting to com uh, compare and sit above thorns than God. That is why God didn't give us human any power, any wisdom, or any beauty on us. What is the purpose of creating us human in such weakness? God wanted us human to rely on God and become connected always with God. So through this connection, God can give us wisdom, power, all the essential things of our life. That is why God created us human in no condition, no power, no wisdom at all, so that we can only rely on God. As Jesus testified himself in John chapter 5 verse 30, he testified, I can of myself do nothing. Jesus was not a disabled person. He could do so many things. He was able to achieve all his will. But when we listen to his testimony, he testified that I can of myself do nothing. All the things that I have done is by our Father God. Yes, that is true. We human were born without having any condition to please God. The, the more you try to please God, the more we fail. No matter how hard you try to follow the commandment of God and try to please God, we are not able to please and satisfy God. So, many people try to bring good image, good fruits before the Lord. Then they think, God will accept me. God will, please, God will be pleased with me. God will accept my good behavior. But that is completely misunderstanding about God. Why? Even Job chapter 35 verse 7 says, If you are righteous, what do you give him? Or what does he receive from your hands? God said, We humans, every intent of the thoughts of us humans was great on the earth. So we humans are only ever continually in Genesis chapter 6 verse, 20, uh, verse 5. Likewise, the perspective and the view of God looking at us human, we are only evil, dirty, sinful, deceitful ch child of Satan. So we were born in that nature of sin. So we have nothing good to please God or submit to God or satisfy God with our own good effort and with our own righteousness. So, Job verse, uh, 35 verse 7 says, If you are righteous, what do you give him? Or what does he receive from our hands? Which means God has nothing to receive any good, any uh, effort from us human. Verse 8 says, Your wickedness affects a man such as you, and your righteousness a son of man. Whether you are evil or righteous, those things does not affect any things to God. So, even if you bring good, uh, diligent works to God, God is not able to receive anything good from our hands. No matter how good things we bring to God, that is evil, dirty, simple before God. It is the same like sometimes when we abandon or uh, put out the trash out of the gate, some people come and search something out of the trash. What is this happening? Why these things are happening? People consider 
things may uh, maybe uh, they will be able to find something uh, valuable out of that trash. Although someone gave out all the trashes as a trash, dirty things, but still some people who is trying to look for the valuable and useful things out of that. Even before God, we human are trying to look for good things out of ourselves. Although God says, you are only evil, I have nothing to receive from you, I have not, I, you have no any condition to come unto me, because God only accepts perfect righteous men. But we humans try to produce our good behavior, good righteousness thing, so that we, may, we think that God may accept us. But God doesn't, God doesn't expect anything good out of us. Through our behavior, through our works, we have no choice but to receive the curse and judgment from God. We were lost against sin, and we were born in evil Satan's plan, and we completely fail to obey and follow the commandment of God. So when I talk about the way of law, no matter how hard we try, we have no choice but to fail. That is why God only accepts perfect 100% righteousness who is, who is the righteousness of God, righteousness of Jesus. So in the eyes of God, who is only righteous? Yes, no one among us is human. God only see the perfect righteous Jesus. So whosoever come through Jesus can be accepted and can be acknowledged as a holy righteous person. That is why if you rely on your condition, your good work, your good effort, no matter how it looks good in your eyes, when God sees, God does not accept it. So God has no choice but to curse such person. Same like this Esau. This is why Esau had no choice but to receive the curse from his father, Isaac, after following all the commandments and all the words of his father. Although he tried his best to follow and satisfy his father as a result of his own good works, sweating all over and busy hunting, busy cooking, and brought all that good result to his father, but God has to curse this Esau. If you are the Esau type of believer who is trying to bring good things, good effort, good trial, good image, your own self-righteousness, God will never accept us, but sorrowfully, we such people have no choice but to receive curse from God. So, now God is showing us the way of Jacob. Then Jacob, why and how he was able to receive the blessing from his father? When we also read the birth of Jacob, Jacob, he hold his brother Esau's feet. So, which means he was not able to come out by himself. He was lacking of power to come out from his mother's womb, so he had no choice but to rely on his brother's power. And since he was young, and even after he grew up, he was weak man, he was not man-like, he had to stay with his mother uh, under the tent. So for, for Jacob, he had no any condition to please his father. When he think about himself, when he tried to bring his good effort, good trial, good condition, there was nothing for him to please his father. So he was always staying under the tent with his mother. He had no courage, he, was, he had no braveness, he was always relying on someone else to get help. But Bible 
and God says he was in the perfect condition to receive the blessing from his father Isaac. Aren't you curious why God blessed Jacob who was very weak, who didn't do good anything to his father? What was the condition for him to receive the blessing? His, blessed, his condition to receive blessing was only on his mother Rebekah. So when you read the story of Jacob and Esau, Rebekah, his mother, does everything for Jacob to receive blessing. So Jacob was complaining against his mother's instruction. Oh, mom, I can't do that. I am a smooth-skinned man, but my brother Esau is a hairy-skinned man. If I go to God, if I go to Isaac, my father, I may be looks as a deceiver. So he was afraid to go to his father saying he is Esau. But at that time, if you read the Bible, Rebecca, she said, let your curse be on me. Which means, if you happen to receive all the curse, let your curse be on me. I will receive all your curse on your behalf so that you will be able to receive the blessing at the end. Who can say that? Who can really receive all the curse on our, on our behalf? Is there anyone who can receive all our eternal curse on our behalf? Actually, mother's father can do that? No. Even our biological parents are not able to receive all the curse on our behalf. But there is only one person who is able to receive all our curse, who actually receives already all the curse of our wickedness and our evilness. Who is that? Who could receive all the curse on our behalf? Yes, that's true. He is only Jesus who can receive the curse and give out the blessing of his blessing unto us. That is why here in this story, Rebecca represents Jesus Christ who prepared all the condition for us who have no condition, who have no power, who have no strength to go and receive the blessing from our Father, in, Father God. Rebecca is the image of Jesus Christ. So Jacob received the blessing only through the works of Mother Rebecca. Let's see what Mother prepares for Jacob. Mother Rebecca, she cooked the savory food which which father Isaac pleased. So Rebecca, she prepared this savory food. And Rebecca prepared to cover his smooth skin man. As you remember, this Jacob was a smooth skin man, unlike I uh, unlike Esau. So if he goes as a smooth skin man, Jacob he would be revealed as a, as a Jacob so easily. So mother, he put the skins of goat on the hands and smooth part of the neck so that she could cover his smooth skin perfectly like Esau. And she brought the best clothes, garments of Esau, put it on the Jacob. So Jacob had no any condition for him to receive blessing, but mother Rebecca prepared everything on this Jacob. Just like that, who was born in sin, who lived in sinful, deceitful life, who was not able to please God. We human, we try but we fail. Sometimes we try to keep the commandments, some, but sometimes, most of the times, we fail. So for such weak and evil humans like us, Jesus has prepared every condition for us to receive the blessing before God. As you know, God does not accept any sinful, deceitful human like us. That is why God, that Jesus has to prepare perfect righteousness on us. So Jesus, he was wounded and he was 
he, his all the clothes was taken off and he put his garments, his righteousness garments on us so that we can stand before God as a perfect righteous man before God through the clothes and garments of the righteousness of Jesus. As you read this story, Rebecca prepares everything for this Jacob. So Jacob, although he was very weak, he was afraid, he didn't have that faith, but he was influenced by his Rebecca mother. So when he stood before his father, uh, Isaac, through the preparation of Rebecca, he had perfect condition to receive the blessing. Just like this Jacob, we are able to receive blessing from God today. If anyone stands before God today, is there anyone who can confidently say, Yes, God, I am perfect righteous. I am holy being. I am your son who prepared all that condition for you. Yes, actually, I was born in evil, wicked, sinful nature of Satan. But my mother, Rebecca, just like that, my responsible person, Jesus, he prepared everything for me. He did all these things for me. I was lacking, I was sinful, I was deceitful. But through the works of Jesus, through the sacrifice of Jesus, through the righteousness of Jesus, all I received so that I became perfect righteous, perfect being, holy righteous standing before you with that boldness. Amen. If anyone have that boldness and have faith in Jesus Christ, you don't need to prepare your own condition. You don't have to have your own righteousness. If you stand before God like Esau, his own righteousness, you have no choice but to be cursed. But if you stand before God today with the things of Rebecca, with the things of Jesus Christ, God will say, Oh, you are so blessed one. You are the one whom I was looking for. You are perfect righteous. You are perfect holy, which was everything was done by the works of Jesus, my pleasing son. If you have faith in Jesus Christ, not relying on your own condition, not trusting your own effort or trial, if you only rely on the works of Jesus Christ 100%, then you will be able to receive blessing like Jacob today. I will read one more verse and finish. Romans chapter 9, verse 9. I will read from 9, verse 9 through verse 13. For this is the word of promise. At this time I will come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but where Rebekah also had conceived by one man, even by, one, by our father Isaac. For the children not yet being born, nor having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but of him who calls. It was said to her, The older shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. Everyone, let us remember, let's remember why God loved Jacob. Jacob, he was born having no condition at all to please his father. But Esau was a trustful man and he had a lot of condition to please his father with his own brave and courage, courageness. That is why God hated Esau. Everyone, if you are trying to trust and bring your own good condition before God, God will hate you. God will curse you. But because you have no other condition at all to please God, if you only rely on Jesus Christ 100%, Jesus Christ he become our perfect Savior, perfect condition, perfect Rebecca for us to prepare everything to receive the blessing from our Father God. 
everyone. I hope you can also follow the way of Jacob, not uh, Esau. Let's continue uh, such a Bible study throughout this week. Thank you for listening. After listening, please uh, press subscribe of GNM Eswatini and please put also press like. Thank you very much everyone. Let us pray. Thank you Heavenly Father God for giving us this precious time. Although we are going through this difficult time because of COVID-19 virus, we believe that God is going to protect us and guide us and God has given us such a wonderful chance for us to have a fellowship through online video. May God bless all those who listen to the Word of God today through Jacob and Esther's story. May God lead all of us to live Jacob type of spiritual life, not the Esther life. Thank you for giving us this time. May God bless us all. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Everyone, thank you for listening. I hope we can continue meeting through this video. GNN and Swatini channel.